Hello guys, this is Sri Chandan, Sri Chandan Venkat, and today we are going to discuss uh, how to extract mid surface and uh, geometry cleanup. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy it and learn it. And now we'll see how to. So the option what we use uh, today is F11. So this is uh, especially useful for uh, geometry cleanup. So as you can see geometry cleanup is basically performed on components and if you have a feature more than its uh, minimum length of the component will be discarding it and that's what we call it as geometry cleanup and geometry cleanup is not only basically removing all the parts if at all the surface is damaged we will be able to make it up and that is what geometry cleanup so in order to satisfy all the requirements we'll be doing some toggling and splitting doing some washers and adjusting the density of points on that and that's what we will see that in this process so here if you can see there are a lot many lines over here and that is a feature but if you can see there are two lines which are not at all necessary because uh, if the minimum length of the component is two it will not fit in over here because if we can ch check in F4 like one between two points minimum length is 0 0.4 you can check it 0 0.4 is minimum length but actually in actual components it would be around 2 mm and here the value is 0 0.4 so will not be able to satisfy this so we can toggle it over here how to how to toggle means press F11 and toggle so you can remove one of them you can remove one of them in here as well so that won't affect the component but you can easily do the component mesh that's what the main basic concept behind geometry cleanup as you can see there are a lot many but it is attached just like a feature so we can't remove it as it is an inclined one so probably we can remove it and there are a lot many indulged see there this is very small so if you try to mesh it over there it will fail definitely and that's the reason we are removing it likewise we need to remove the parts whichever are basically not needed that is what may our main motto of geometry cleanup is right yeah so here also you can see as they are part of uh, the feature so you can't remove it so here you have two components if you want to be like that yeah you can remove it because it won't fail right so whenever you think that the component if you try if you are trying to mesh it or in between if you think it is failing yes you need to remove it that's what our main motto is here also you can see they are very small like you you can also check the distance between them like f1 f4 f4 is the uh, shortcut key to find distance between two points here he is saying 0 0.9 uh, as i already told you the minimum length of this component is 2 mm so this is 0 0.9 so that would not be able to satisfy our criteria so i just need to toggle any of that so f11 f11 in this f11 toggle so you can toggle it toggle 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 in toggle as well whenever you are seeing these kind of structures try to toggle one of them which are making little complications among so that that that's the way you can uh, minimize the meshing lapse so you can also find it over here so this would not be a useful one mm, this is useful so whenever you are trying to find the minimum distances you can toggle them directly and always try to maintain washer uh, for every circle how to make washers and all this stuff I'll explain you in this video in the later on concepts so yeah so I think most of the part of toggling the unknown lines has been removed yeah you can also cross check from a depth point of view yeah, here there are two lines so which are not necessary so you can toggle it so geometry cleanup will take little time but uh, you need to do it little patiently as well yeah 
yeah this is uh, this is also making little sense over here mm. right so i hope this has been completed now we will go back to washers so when we need to do washers when we need not to do washer means if, if the washer distance washer is basically calculated with a r by 2 distance or a d by 4 distance you can also find the distance of the circle by pressing f8 so if you press f8 and select the lines from this point and select and press center so you can find distance between two points like this so one is this one the other one is this one so 4.25 is the distance between two points so so what happens is so r by 2 is the distance right so we can also make it like this this is 4.25 means 4.25 divided by 2 is 2.125 so we can do washer in the same that's what we have discussed f11 has washer concepts as 2.125 2.125 is the distance you need to take and you need to click on the line so automatically it will apply the washer to the line so 2.125 so as i already told you the minimum line length for this component is 2 so it is also satisfying the criteria so we can proceed with the washers so here also you can apply washer even here as well so it is satisfying right yeah so there are three holes and there is one more that is in a different shape that is not a circle and here also you can apply it if you want because the, those values are literally same 